It's not uncommon to see books and printed material burned or banned or destroyed in order to stop the spread of ideas of, peop of particular people who are hated or if their ideas are hated as well. We call it biblioclasm, the destruction of books, but it's been happening across time uh, with the burning, the famous destruction of the library at Alexandria in Egypt right up until the present day. So it's a de demonstration of worldwide support that, that we could rebuild the library. I mean, what I was reading is, is that precious manuscripts and, and, and ancient books have been destroyed, and those can never be recovered. But at least uh, we can, at least, the, at least we can say this is uh, something that we, we take a stand against. I think it's, it's an important demonstration of solidarity, worldwide solidarity, especially for people in, in educational circles and people who care about the, the flow of information. First of all, there's something precious about a book itself as a physical object, not something that's li living in the digital world. But we've also been shown that um, material that is digital and lives on the internet is also vulnerable to being destroyed as well. And so just because it's out there and, oh, we can access it uh, electronically doesn't mean it's protected from people who would seek to destroy it.